there is a whole host of incidents or situations which happen on the south side of Kailash. All kinds of people got the best things from Shiva. The world would judge that these people don't deserve it, but he never made the judgment. When they asked, he gave. All of you know, Bhishma Surya. So this is a, a yogi who comes and asks Shiva that he wants to have this power that whoever he touches, they should turn into ashes. Shiva says, okay, have it. Then the guy wants to put his hand on Shiva's head. So he wants to try whether it works or not on Shiva. So Shiva got up and ran. And then uh, as usual he consulted Vishnu what to do. Vishnu said, wait and he transformed himself into Mohini or a very enchanting woman. So he came and he danced in front of Basmasura. Basmasura forgot about Shiva and ran up to this woman. So she said, you must dance as I dance, then I'm yours. He said, okay. So she did this, he did this, she did this, she did this, everything happened, this, 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 and she did this. So he also did that and became ashes. Shiva is always seen as a very powerful being, at the same time, not so crafty with the world. So one form of Shiva is known as Bole Nath because he is childlike. Not that he's stupid, but uh, he doesn't care to use intelligence in all those petty ways. <laughs> it's only shrewd, low-level intelligence which is constantly thinking how to get better of, of somebody. Intelligence and street smart guile are two different things. Being smart is always in comparison with somebody else. Being intelligent is in not in comparison with anybody else. It's just by its own nature. So intelligence is significant because intelligence is never in competition. It is simply an expression of life.